Okay, it's time for a little family time tale <laughs> with uh, Brother Fulmer's um, most recent video that I saw uh, from a week ago. Uh, Fulmer is uh, my family name on my uh, paternal, maternal side of the family. And uh, so my dad's mother. Uh, he uh, did a video about Book of Mormon geography, and I don't bother watching his videos because <laughs> I know they're all junk. Uh, he doesn't do any research, he just parrots what he's told to believe in. Uh, and so, Book of Mormon geography is a big scandal in the church because if you uh, establish that uh, the Book of Mormon land is uh, right there around western New York, <laughs> you are helping to confirm that uh, the Book of Mormon was plagiarized by Solomon Spaulding. Uh, Solomon Fulmer is my third great grandfather, which is where both brother Fulmer and I come from. Uh, <laughs> I uh, was in a, uh, a a group. We weren't really in an apologist group for the church because we didn't want to be apologists. We wanted to be actual scientists. Uh, to publish uh, actual science papers. Unfortunately, the group disbanded, and uh, uh, one of the guys who was the leader who didn't want to be the leader and made me be the leader in uh, default uh, decided to... Uh, uh, conform and comply with apologetics again as they had uh, bribed him into uh, silence back with the group uh, by uh, saying that they would publish one of his papers. Uh, so, uh, yeah, but there was his uh, cousin, Vincent Kuhn, who uh, published the book Choice Above All Other Lands uh, he uh, actually went to the location in western New York and Michigan and all that area and walked the trails uh, to do the measurements to confirm accuracy. Uh, that's what uh, our group was about, was being scientific about it, not apologetic. And uh, his book goes over uh, the whole uh, theory confirming that it's in western New York and that whole region up into Canada and Michigan and all that. So, uh, uh, yeah, I uh, posted on my website about uh, Mormon apologists who have uh, contributed to the downfall of the church and uh, he got to be one of them for his publication of uh, what he believed to be confirmation that the Book of Mormon geography is in America. Uh, John Welsh also uh, gets the award as the one who started a Mormon apologetics. <coughs> Him and his uh, Hebrew chiasmus in an Egyptian document. Just hilarious, and uh, uh, there's uh, others. Uh, Joe Sampson, not as well known, very influential. Uh, he published a book written by the finger of God. Did I put that around here somewhere? <laughs> uh, must be in that pile. But uh, I, now, he uh, confirmed for me uh, that uh, Jewish mysticism uh, was incorporated in the Book of Mormon plagiarism. Uh, so that was awesome. 
Uh, he was my uh, introduction to uh, Jewish mysticism uh, as he uh, quotes plagiarized passages from Jewish mystic literature in the Book of Mormon. <laughs> and so I just get a laugh when I hear uh, Mormon apologists at BYU like Kwaku, who's just a little kid, just barely into BYU, uh, back from his mission, I guess, and and uh, he's talking about how the plagiarism in the Book of Mormon is proof of its truth. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm born and raised Mormon, going on 50 years, and uh, I just, I just have been laughing the whole time as Mormons open their mouths and speak. <laughs> Even as a kid in primary, I'm making up songs. And so I did that one video where I put in a song at the beginning <laughs> to show you an example of the work that I was doing as a little primary kid. <sighs> it's just unbelievable. But uh, what is this video all about? <laughs> oh yeah, geography of the Book of Mormon. <laughs> And so, uh, uh, the Central American uh, theory uh, is a result of the RLDS Church. Uh, that was the church that uh, Emma Smith, through her son, when he got old enough, uh, uh, organized. Uh, that is the church that the United States government officially recognizes as the official succession of Joseph's right of Joseph Smith's church. And in case Brighamite Mormons did not know that. Uh, it, uh, uh, they didn't get the Temple Lot case in the lawsuit though. Uh, but they did get acknowledged as the true successors. Uh, but uh, the, his organization are the ones who made the claim that it was uh, central and, and the top of South America that are the lands uh, for the Book of Mormon. And then uh, uh, there's some other theories. I uh, will post a bunch of them up in front of this video. Uh, so you will have already have seen them. Uh, the official one is by Daniel Ludlow. That's the one the church officially declared as legitimate <laughs> because it's vague <laughs> and doesn't identify a specific land area in the United States. Uh, <laughs> and so that was the one that was published in the commentaries for Institute. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, yeah, because the church doesn't want to uh, make any claims of actual locations because that would require that archaeologists would therefore find evidence by doing an archaeological dig. So they can't make a declaration of any particular site uh, after Benson had already uh, broken up an argument at BYU over two professors battling it out over where the Hill Camorra was and if there were two of them. <laughs> Benson came in and settled it by saying there's only one Camorra and it's right there in western New York. <laughs> and so of course nobody's found any evidence yet other than the mound people uh, in that area which is what Solomon Spalding was writing about in his book, Manuscript Found. <laughs> uh, just hilarious. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd share that with you. I, somebody's got to provide correct information with all the misinformation and disinformation and blatant lies that are going around by the Mormon Church. So, yeah. Hold on, 50 years. 
We're so close to destroying the church. So close. <laughs> so close. Tomorrow I get to drop off the the uh, judgment or the motion for uh, summation of judgment. Uh, 